bags of green beans that we're going to go freeze. Here's our swimming pool full of corn husks from the corn that we just husked. It's going to be a long night. I have this box still to cut off the ears. And then I have already cut off the list. That much corn. It's all full of corn if you can't tell. Corn. I gotta let it cook for a little while and then cool and then bag and then freeze. <laughs> it's 10 p.m. So that. Look at those cute curtains. Well, here we are. We have our frozen, frozen corn here and the rest that I just finished. Um, I really filled these up to the brim because I really needed to save sacks. So this one is probably about the size that you should do them. It just, uh, if you freeze it flat, they can just lay in there nice and flat. But this is a, this is fine. This will be lovely. This will take care of my family for quite a while. I think, did I count 14 sacks there? Each sack is a pretty full cord. I'll bet there's at least four cups of corn in each. So, you tell me how much money I'm saving. I don't know. Anyway, so there's that. And now I just want to talk to everyone <laughs> about being a little bit kinder to each other. I'm just watching some stuff being thrown around on Facebook with uh, some of my friends in the community. And, you know, it just makes me sad because nobody knows what trials and problems other people are facing necessarily in their private lives. So if we could just be kinder, just really watch what we say, watch what we do, because it's really easy on social media to just throw a bunch of stuff out there and just think that nobody's reading it, but they are. Lots of people are. Even your kids are reading it sometimes. So anyway, do you like this cupboard? This is cool. Got this from Grandma. And that's like her... Um, old sugar, <laughs> look at my head, <laughs> her old sugar container, I don't know, sugar thing, okay, anyway, whatever. So there's some canning and a little um, lecture by Kara. Okay, love you guys, bye.